Hello and welcome. Last time we got this cool little Bowie forged up. We got it heat treated and then we got it finished up. And now it's time to work on the handles. As we start the video, the following things are in place. We got our knife, we've got our guard, we've got some space material, and our handle block. Basically, I've scrapped a center line in the main piece for the guard. I've drilled a center hole. It's sort of drifted from the center punches, which is okay. I've got room to spare on either side. That's sort of a guide for milling. I'm going to mill out just under 3 16 so that's the width of my tang and I'll file out or carefully mill out the rest. I do want sort of a semi-press fit with shoulders on there, so I don't want to overdo the milling. Then I'm going to mill similar slots in the rest of the guard piece here, which is going to be sort of layered like that. Then we'll pin everything together with two pins on either side of the guard, I'm sorry, tang hole, to keep everything together while shaping and flattening goes on and stuff like that. Regarding the handle, this is the same block that I tested on here, and I think there's enough material there to make a handle on. I've scribed a center line, the width of the tang at the depth of the guard, just underneath the guard. So it's going to go on sort of like that. I have plenty of material here to work with. <clears throat> you guys have seen me do this before. I, I set it up where it's just uneven or slightly off kilter. So if the drill's facing this way, it goes like that, drills a hole like that way like that, drills a hole like that way, everything meets sort of down here. Then I'll put a hole in the bottom and I'll probably use some all thread or something and get a uh, threaded pin at the bottom. So, let's see what happens. This is a little brooch saw. I got it from Niels Vanderberg's site. I think Alex Steele sells them too. Still a little gap. Not doing a whole lot of narrating because I'm not feeling very well, but this happened with a lot of trepidation. I was really scared I was going to mess up the guard doing this. Hammer it unevenly, um, put dents in it that I couldn't really get out and still maintain fit with a knife, but it ended up coming out okay. And after a little bit of grinding, it's uh, really taking shape.
So as you can see, the spacer is getting more complicated as time goes by. I've now got a little brass piece in there that I'm going to try to surround with two solid steel pieces and put a filing pattern in there. The blue piece is actually the bottom, and it's going to be black, and then the guard itself is going to be black, and it's going to sandwich in that nice little filed area. I need to etch more of my knives, so I'm just going to practice that here. I've used the Personalizer Plus. I've tried several systems. This one, to me, goes the deepest, the quickest, the most reliably. So I've, I've liked the results with it so far, so I'm going to keep using it. So I'm putting a magnesium phosphate finish on here. The bottom spacer again is going to be black and I'm actually going to do the guard too. And the bottom spacer turns out pretty good. I like it. It's pretty uniform. It's really dark gray, almost black, but the guard not so much. Lots of spots and this was even acetoned and sandblasted. Um, just didn't turn out well at all. So I'm actually going to send these off for Cerakote. Here the tang is being waxed and then it's going to be bedded into the handle with some epoxy. And that way when I go to drill the hole for the handle, everything should line up really well. And I'll have a nice solid fit to work with as I shape the handle. I'm going to use a little power carver as you guys previously saw. It's sort of expensive, but it works well. It runs on compressed air, so you're going to hear a compressor sort of kick on and off. I think occasionally a little buzzing. You saw me practice on a rounded oak dowel. This is the actual handle material now that I've cut some off and I've gone back and practiced on it. As you can see, as long as I'm careful and I use the black star bond glue carefully, everything actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to have to make sure, especially on the curvatures, that I stay true to the design and I don't sort of slip up. Whether or not I can do this, man, I don't know. but.
That was the first side. I'm going to show you sort of drawing out the second side, and then we'll carve that out too. As this goes on, I'm losing a little bit of confidence. So I actually made a second handle, one that's not carved, and it's fit up just the same as the other one, so I can change them out, just knocking the handle pin out of the first one and putting this one on. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. You know, I, I'm still hoping, beyond hope, that the first handle is going to work. But just in case, here's what the second one looks like. So again, the black medium star bond. It comes pre-dyed, which I think is cool. Also, they all come with a lot of extra fittings, you know, some extra uh, fine applicator tips and even an extra regular applicator, which I think is pretty cool. That's the first time I've seen that in CA glue. So you probably notice the pattern doesn't go all the way up the handle, nor does it go all the way around the handle. It's sort of because I felt like I was really reaching just to get this done. Going around the sides is very tricky. The uh, bit sort of slips out and makes light passes or you dig in too deep. And then I really just sort of wanted to escape with what I had instead of risking further work going all the way up the handle and, and messing things up. So this is what I got. We're just going to have to deal with it. So it didn't turn out bad, but there's some low spots, which I think is to be expected. Unfortunately, there's also some bubbles. I talked to the manufacturer. They think that's a failure to degas of the glue. So if you put it on your piece and you spray the accelerant too quickly, the glue doesn't fully degas, I guess. So they recommended not using the accelerant or waiting five to 10 minutes before applying it. I went back, buzzed those out, and then reapplied the black and sanded it down again. And I, I got pretty much all of it out. It's not perfect. I'm using the medium star bond here for a final finish. It's going to take about two or three coats. Again, I think the thin would, would probably do just as well. It'd go on a little easier, dry a little quicker, but this is fine. This wood is stabilized, so it's not going to soak up much of this anyway. So the, the medium does a pretty good job with it. So this is a catastrophe. I was driving the handle pin through it and actually caught the edge and chipped out part of the opposite side. So I put a little pattern in there. I'm going to fill that with the black CA glue, polish it up, and we'll go from there. Overall, I think it looks great. There's some design elements I would probably do differently next time. And, you know, under close scrutiny, the filling with the black is not perfect. But overall, I sort of dig it.